Hey Mike. What? what? Who's got next? What's good, y'all? It's your man Hezo, and welcome back to the Blacktop, where I always got next. You feel me? So I know I have not done uh, the last two game recaps, four games four and five, and my apologies for that for this Boston Miami series. But there were two blowouts, and I just had to catch up on some sleep, man. I just I couldn't do recaps on two blowout games. I just you know, so it is what it is on that. But Miami bounces back in game five or in game six, man, to force a game seven after. Miami looking really dead in the water in games four and five. Probably two of the worst offensive performances I've ever seen from a playoff team. They just bounced back in game six. So we got a game seven, man. That was a dog fight. So before I dive into everything, as always, if y'all are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. Help me get to my first 300 subscribers. I'm on my way. I appreciate all the help and support. Let's get right into it. So I'm going to try and keep this video as short as possible because I got uh, I gotta pack because I'm actually leaving for Atlanta tomorrow morning. I'm going to a Braves game on, uh, tomorrow, so I gotta try, I'm gonna try and keep this video short and sweet, man. So the story of this game was Jimmy Jordan. Yeah, that's right, Jimmy Jordan, aka Jimmy Butler, balled the fuck out. This dude was on another level, and that was I will say that was one of the most incredible playoff performances I've ever seen from a dude. In an elimination game. Tip your hat off to Jimmy Butler, man. He put the Miami Heat on his shoulders. He was not ready to go home. And now we got a game seven. And it, I will say, it's going to be tough for Boston to, to pull out a game seven win in Miami. After a performance like that, you have to be able to close out this game if you're, if you're the Celtics. They blew it. They missed a golden opportunity to close out the Heat the same way the Bucks did to close out the Celtics. And now you're starting to wonder, is this going to be the same exact situation in the last series for the Celtics and, and Bucks, when the Celtics won two in a row, one in Milwaukee, and then at, at home in Game Seven, is it going to be the same thing this series with Miami, one on the road in Game Six and at home in Game Seven? It's going to be a dogfight. Game Seven, I'm I cannot wait for it, man. Now, as y'all know, I did pick the Celtics in this series. I'm sticking with it. I'm not backing down from my from my pick. I, I knew it was going to go at least six or seven. I said it from the beginning. These teams are too talented. They're too great. And it's going to come down to defense and which star players show up. Is Jimmy Butler going to show up? And again, Jimmy's playing hurt, man. And just what he did was just incredible. I don't even know how else to put it. That was one of the best performances I've, I've seen in the playoffs. Hats off to Jimmy, man. Shout out to Jimmy Butler. He just, he balled out. Take him out a pretty good game, but it just... He wasn't shooting enough. They were trapping him towards the end of the game. And Jalen Brown, man, you sold, bruh. You sold. That's Those two free throws at the end of the game with about, what, three and a half minutes left, two and a half minutes left, whatever it was, in a tie ball game, when you have a chance to go up two and then you miss the two free throws, Miami Butler, uh, Miami goes on that little fast break, and then Jimmy Butler gets an and one down the other end. That's a five-point swing. That was the difference at the end of the game. Now, am I saying that's the reason why Boston lost the game? No, I'm not. I'm not saying that. But that was just a huge turn of events because you're looking at a, a two-point Boston lead to a three-point Miami lead. Things happen like that in the playoffs, and you credit to Miami for closing out this game because uh, Boston went on that run in the fourth quarter. Derek White was on crack and was just... I don't even know. Derek White, that was one of the best playoff games he's ever had. Al Horford didn't really do much. He, had, he did hit a clutch three at the end of the game. Grant Williams was a no-show. He was in foul trouble the entire game. Marcus Smart shot poorly. Max Struess finally showed up after shooting 0 for, 0 for 100 in the last two games. One, after <laughs> I gave Max Struess so much uh, praise, man, for these last for this series and really the entire playoffs and games four and five, he was just a no-show. Shot what 0 for 16 those two games. That's that's atrocious. But a nice back uh, bounce back game for Struess. Nice bounce back game for Kyle Lowry. He played extremely well. He did foul at the end, but just a hell of a game, man. A dog fight. This is what we've been wanting as fans. This is the game we've been wanting, and that was a dog fight to the end, and I hope we get the same thing in Game 7 because that was an Eastern Conference Finals game that every fan has been looking for. Now, there was a lot of calls that were very questionable for both sides. Now, I'm a neutral fan, so I'm going to call for what it is. There was a, Miami got a lot of calls towards the end of the game. Say what you want. Disagree. I know y'all Heat fans are probably going to disagree, but they got a lot of calls. It is what it is. It happens. And, you know, Tyler Hero was out, so that that definitely, uh, again, credit to Miami because they wanted game six on the road with no Tyler Hero. Is he going to be healthy for game seven? 
it's going to be a big question mark, man. Game 7 is about to be crazy. It's going to come down to defense, like I said, and who shows up for the star players. Is Jalen going to show up? Is Tatum going to show up? Tatum's been streaky in the series. Is Jimmy going to show up? He's been streaky in the series with those, those two atrocious games 4 and 5, and then it goes Jordan mode in game 6. We're really going to see. I can't wait for game 7. I'm going to leave it there, man. They uh, The Warriors are awaiting the winner of this series in the NBA Finals. It's going to be a hell of a series. Now, I did say I'm going to do a recap for every single game, but I do want to let it be known. I am not going to do it right after the game. These are 9 o'clock games. That's too late for me to do a recap. I got ha I have to get up for working in the morning, so I cannot do a recap right after the game. But I will do it the next day when I get home from work. So y'all be on the lookout for that. I will be a little bit late to the party, but y'all still check that out as well. Um, if y'all have not had a chance, go check out my last video, man. I did two uh, a mystery box pack, uh, mystery box opening from Pristine Auction. Shout out to Pristine Auction. So if y'all have not had a chance, go check that video out. I am also going to be doing a giveaway if I get enough entries. For two autographed pictures of uh, Cedric Maxwell and, um, what's his name, Nate Archibald. Two autographed pictures that I got in the mystery box. They're free. All you have to do is comment down below your all-time favorite NBA player. Like the video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. So go on and check that video out, man. It, I thought it was a pretty fun video to do. I might do more like that in the future. We'll see. So I'm going to pretty much leave it there, man. Again, I want to keep this video short. I got to go pack. I got to get ready to leave for Atlanta in the morning. So with that being said, man, leave, me a, uh, leave a like for me. And I'll catch y'all next episode.